I think this is a better view. You can actually see them building the entrance of what will be a mother goddess figure. Okay. In 1977, I designed a mother goddess sculpture. When Maria Gracia invited me to collaborate with her, I proposed that Dior build the goddess figure that I had never been able to realize and that the show be held inside the body of the goddess. Here's where we are right now. We're close to the belly, and then there's the breasts, and there's the head. When we walked through the Rodin Museum, I became acutely aware of its masculinous nature and how the museum and most of the sculptures are kind of a peon to masculinity. And now here behind the museum is a peon to femininity. That's why the guy is going, oh my God, I never thought this would happen. <laughs> purple, I love purple. My toenails too. Well, I decided to change the color of my hair when I turned 80. Purple is a royal color. <laughs> so that's about as close as I'm getting to royalty. This is the interior. There'll be 20 banners on which will be posed a series of questions. If women ruled the world, would buildings resemble wombs? Have you looked at the buildings all over? We're so used to seeing phallic structures that people don't even recognize what they are. And then those banners were actually fabricated in a school for embroidery for women in India that Dior supports. In India, men are the primary embroiderers. So this is a way of empowering women around the globe, which is, of course, what Maria Gracia and I both believe in. It'll be like being inside a warm, enveloping, safe environment, like the world should be.